Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and as you can tell by the title, we're doing a foundation review. Now, it could very well be a wear test as well, but just to go ahead and start off by saying to be in the clear, it is a review of a new foundation. Side note, Naked Green Machine is the best. But let's go ahead and talk about the new ELF Soft Glam Satin Foundation. It's a medium buildable coverage, long lasting, 1% hydrating hibiscus complex. I did purchase these off Amazon because I haven't seen them in any of my stores yet. So I did pick up the shade 10, 45 10 warm and then a deep 50 deep warm and i think i'm gonna go with the deep warm because it is closer to my shade we are going to start off talking about the foundation it says get a buildable just right coverage and a long wearing satin finish with the hydrating foundation that's anything but basic and because this is a buildable foundation I will be using the brush and I'm using the Energy 170 brush. So for starters, I am going to do just those two swipes and it looks like it will match my skin tone way better than the tan warm. And I'm using a brush because it is a medium build. So I kind of want all the coverage there is instead of a sponge soaking up the excess if you understand what i mean when you use sponges they do tend to soak up more of the product so i'm doing half a face so that we can compare with foundation without foundation like normally when i do my foundation friday reviews I have to find another name to call it because I don't upload on Fridays. I'm liking the foundation so far though. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything is on my face. It is a medium coverage. You still see the freckles and moles in my face, but it does give a decent coverage and she matches me really well. It actually looks like it's just a blur to my skin. Yeah, this is a good foundation to wear for the summer. Elf came out with this just in time. Now, I did forget to tell you guys, this foundation on Amazon is literally $8.99. Really, really, really good pricing because, as you know, a lot of drugstore products are now becoming high-end, like everything needs to be at Ulta, Ulta and um, Sephora from now on because nothing it's, is under like the $10 mark. She's really pretty and really satin like and it doesn't feel like anything is on my skin like nothing at all. So, so far this is what my face is looking like. The concealer actually blended really well over the foundation and there is no streaks or marks, lines, demarcation or anything of that nature. I do want to try out the F Camo Liquid Blush. I do have the shade Suave, Suave Mauve. I am going to put a little bit. I don't know how much is too much. <laughs> um, but we are, I am going to just use a little bit and kind of. Oh, that's pretty. 
can't really see a color it just gives like a flush of color but to use it as an everyday blush for a look like this let's see if we can build it up and I am using a elf highlighter brush I'm really liking it because the foundation is not pulling up it's giving buildable and it's still not showing up like too much all right so so far this is what we're looking like you can still see the blush peeking through the skin even with the and the full face setting you can still see the rosiness poking through which is a good thing considering if you didn't want to top your makeup off with a powder blush you can just leave it for a natural color like you can leave it there but I do want to test out the new mix of buttermilk blush and I got the shade back in butter now I'm not going to use a lot but I do want to test it out and see what it looks like I am going to use that same elf highlight blood uh, brush and here is what she looks like and to my understanding they are really pigmented I just swatched it one good time Ooh, that's deep and very so I only dabbed one time and I'm going to ooh, yes go in with that one tap because baby she shows up and it is butter it almost feels like a cream to powder and maybe they are cream to powder literally one coating one dip and on the face now imagine if I had a full beat and went a little bit heavier with it oh she'd have been chef's kiss all right so here you have it you guys this is the completed look I really like how everything came out I keep looking myself looking at myself in a viewfinder and my mirror but y'all the face came together really good and it's really nice and soft like I absolutely love this foundation if you guys are thinking about getting it I say yes get it I didn't try to see if it was buildable but it does say it's a medium buildable foundation so I'm pretty sure you can get more coverage if you're looking for more but don't be looking for a full coverage if you get what I mean so for $8.99 mm -hmm, I would get it and when it comes down to this camo liquid blush I really like it I even like the shade Suave Mauve I really like this this would be considered a part of the everyday um, type of blush to wear and I think you can really wear this even when you're not wearing makeup if you just want to look a little more um, what do you call it I don't want to say flushed but if you want to have a little color to your cheeks after you put on your daily moisturizer and sunscreen I would tap a little bit and blend it in with a beauty blender instead of a brush and it would give it a even more natural look when it comes down to the buttermilk blush by NYX back in butter y'all I need to get some more shades and I like to keep it more so on the black girl friendly shades I need to get some more of these so I think it's like maybe two more shades below this that is still in black girl friendly you know I think I may want to go and get those and try those out they do have a beautiful orange one that I kind of am interested in so yeah I think the full face the way everything laid out played together without separating picking up or being becoming patchy 
it was really good. Let me know y'all thoughts down below in the comments. Will you pick it up? Are you interested in it? And thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.